scalloped napkins in neutral beige colour. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just on a Manchester shopping day with my sister and my mum. <laughs> and it's really windy <laughs> and there's meant to be storms and we're literally in like summer dresses. But we've got our brollies with us and we're just having a little girly shopping day so I thought I'd take you along with us. We're just about to head into the White Company. Me and Jake were in the traffic centre last night and we saw these and I said I want them for my birthday. So cute. bunnies hello my babies are you two having a snuggle what are you doing piglet following bonnie as usual <laughs> oh hello you two hello hi hello my little pig hello Hello, oh look, <laughs> hello my little pig, 
It was so sweet. <laughs> Hello, you. Have you two had a good afternoon having snuggles together? Yeah. Oh, is that nice? What's that paw doing? They literally go crazy for these. Stop it, you two. Here we go. There's yours. And there's yours. <laughs> you two are crazy. Crazy bunnies. Crazy bunnies. Who just love treats. Don't you? Is that nice? Yummy. Hey guys, so like I just mentioned, just got back from Manchester. It's quarter past six and I'm tired. You're always tired after shopping in a city, aren't you? Really good purchases made today, if I do say so myself. So what I will do is in a minute, you will see the things that I bought because it's gonna be in this video, but I'm gonna film it tomorrow because I wanna get in my pajamas. Jake's actually out in Manchester as well. I thought I'd run into him, but I didn't. He's out with his work friends. So I'm gonna do a little bit of editing, do a little bit of like admin work on my laptop, pop a Disney film on and make a cup of tea, get cozy in my pajamas. It's raining as well, which normally I don't like, but when you like snug in your house when it's raining, it's just one of my favorite things ever. And I'm just gonna have a chill night and then I will show you the bits that I got tomorrow, but it will be in about five seconds for you guys. Hey guys, it's the next day now and I thought that I would show you the bits that I picked up from Manchester yesterday from all the shops. And I've also got some ASOS bits to show you as well. Just quickly, I know this is like more of like a home decor channel, but I just thought I'd show you the ASOS pieces as well because I did pick up a few fashion bits yesterday in Manchester you might have seen it on the try on. So I'll just whiz through some of the clothing items in case you guys want any inspo for your summer holidays or just summer in general. And then I'll show you the amazing home decor bits. Oh my goodness, guys. Sostrine Green. The amount of scallop things that I saw in that shop that I bought as well, I cannot wait to show you guys, honestly. Amazing. So I'll just whiz through some of the fashion pieces. So from Zara, I queued up for so long in Zara. Firstly, I queued up for the change rooms, which, which took ages. And then the queue for paying took ages as well. It's just always, there's always such busy queues in Zara, but I really wanted these pieces and I just thought it was worth it. So firstly, I got this cute little like crochet knitted top with a bow on the front. I just thought it was adorable and I'm really loving like the crochet vibe at the minute for summer. But I just thought this was like crochet vibe but with like a girly twist which I really liked. It's got a cute little frilly scalloped edge at the bottom, a nice little bow and then it's got these like slits up the side as well which is really flattering. So yeah, I got that and that was 25 I think. 25 99 and I got a size extra small for reference. Also from Zara, I got this knitted skirt. Again, perfect for just like chucking on with a bikini top when you're on holiday. I got this in a size small and this was 25 99 as well. And it's like elasticated, so it's like quite stretchy or you can like pull these strings and like bring it in, which I really like. And it's really like good quality material. So I feel like you could even wear it as a little night skirt if you have the right top to go with it. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. And again, a little scalloped edge along the bottom too. And then lastly from Zara, I got this cute little knitted dress. I love how everything's like the same color cream. And if you are a follower on Instagram, you may have seen me post this on my stories. It's just super cute. A lovely like evening dress for holiday. It's all like knitted across the top, like bandeau style. And then like broidery anglais along the bottom. And again, a scalloped frilly edge along the bottom as well. And this was only £35 or £35.99 which I thought was quite good for Zara because sometimes you can pay you know like 50 quid for a nice Zara dress maybe even more sometimes so I thought £35 was a pretty decent price and it is really really cute. I'll just show you some ASOS pieces so firstly how adorable is this bag? I love it it's out of stock now or it was last time I checked if, if it's still if it's in stock I'll leave it linked down below but if not then I think you may have missed out but I just think this is the most adorable evening bag for night time like imagine walking around Lindos with a cute little outfit and this little bag and some nice sandals I just think it is adorable it's like a little seashell as you can see kind of like raffia material the, the little handle is all like beads which I think is so cute and it just opens like that not the biggest bag in the world, but you only really need like your phone and your lip gloss, don't you, when you're on holiday? 
and maybe a vlogging camera if I decide to vlog it. But yeah, how sweet is that? And it was only like 30 quid as well and I got my student discount. So £27 for a beautiful little seashell bag. Also from ASOS, I got a little scalloped bikini top and scalloped bikini bottoms. Have to get a little scallop bikini in there somewhere, don't I? I also got this cute black dress from ASOS as well from River Island on ASOS and I feel like it can double as like a day dress if you like going to like a beach club or going out for a nice lunch or an evening dress as well, you can style it up or down. It's a size extra small, it's a little bit big like I feel like if I start like running around and jumping it could like come down. I probably won't be running around and jumping in Lindos because I've been checking the weather, 40 degrees, it's going to be 40 degrees which is too hot for me. It is. Jake could literally survive in 70 degree heat, I think. He just loves the heat and the sun. But high 20s is enough for me. I just start to like get really hot and bothered. So I'm just going to have to spend all my time in the pool probably. So yeah, I probably won't be running around and jumping when in Greece. So I'm guessing, I'm hoping it will stay up because it is a really, really pretty dress. So also from ASOS, I got this gorgeous knitted co-ord set. So this is like a long, like fitted maxi dress with a slit up the side absolutely gorgeous I feel like again day or night depending on how you want to wear it or where you want to wear it and it comes with a really cute vest top as well a little crop top so I am really excited to wear that I feel like the colour's perfect the fit is really nice I'll leave everything linked down below as always but yeah I just thought that was such a cute buy with some nice sandals and the little seashell bag I can't wait also from ASOS this is from Miss Selfridge and that just looks tiny doesn't it but it does stretch this dress is so flattering on I don't really like bodycon dresses that much because obviously it's like fitted to you and it's so tight and you're like conscious of breathing in and stuff but because it's ribbed it actually is like really flattering when it's on and it's stretchy and it's just so nice and it was only I think it was like 20 quid or something really really cheap and it really gives off Abercrombie vibes Abercrombie always does this like ribbed knit sort of look like dresses and like long sleeve tops and vest tops and stuff so it really does give me Abercrombie vibes and it fits really really nicely so this is going to be a little evening dress in Rhodes as well with my little seashell bag as well I'll just be I'll be using that seashell bag every night by the way I also got some cute little cream shorts just for like like a daytime vibe maybe nighttime if it was paired with the right thing but I, I think more daytime they're just like a little rah-rah style like tiered short kind of looks like a skirt almost when you've got it on and again cute little scalloped frilly detail I also got this dress which looks so pretty on I really really love it it's like a almost like a sweetheart style at the front you'll be able to see it better on the try on clip puff sleeves and then the skirt is really pretty as well and it's all white and neutral but then just like nice pastel pink and purple and yellow flowers all over it I really like it but I did have to size down in this I had to get a size 4 which I am never usually a size 4 but it, it was just like a little bit big so if you did want to get this yourself I would definitely recommend sizing down it just fits a little bit nicer when you size down so yeah, how sweet is that? And then these two bits were from Hollister, not on ASOS, Hollister, like the actual shop. So firstly, cute little neutral shorts, which again could be used for day or night. And then I got this to match really. This actually, These shorts actually came with a matching top, but I didn't really like it with a matching top. It just looked too beige, if that makes sense. So I got this white crochet one to go with it instead and you can adjust the straps and stuff to, to fit you how you want it to fit you and I just thought it was really cute and the top was 27 and the bottoms were 29. I'm nearly done showing you the clothes now by the way, sorry if you don't really like the fashion side of my videos but I just thought I'd show you because I do get a lot of questions about like my outfits and stuff over on Instagram and sometimes here on YouTube so you'll have to let me know if you like both fashion and home content. So the last fashion piece that I've got to show you is this beautiful black dress from And Other Stories. I was umming and ahhing on whether to get this because it was I think it was £60 which is a bit I don't tend to like splurge a lot of money on clothes really but I've never I don't think I've ever I don't have a dress from And Other Stories, I might have a few tops from there but I don't have a dress from there and I've been after a little black dress for a while. I found one in Hollister but it had like a bit of a weird thing going on on the waist but this one is really nice like you've got this detailing at the top and then the skirt just starts from there which I really like, there's no like weird 
like waist detail and I really like the straps as well how you can tie them in a little bow and the bottom I'll be able to show you be able to see on the try and clip but the bottom has a little frill so I just thought it was quite a nice classic staple and I managed to get a student discount off it it ended up being £60 instead of £65 so yeah I was really happy with that one and I think it will be just like a classic dress that I use every year so I'll definitely get my wear out of it they were all the fashion pieces that I've got to show you. I hope you enjoyed the little mini fashion haul. And now I will show you all of the home bits that I got. I guess that is why you're all watching this video because we all love home decor on this channel. So I did get some like homey kind of beauty things from And of the Stories as well. So I'll just show you those. I never knew that And of the Stories did stuff like this and we were smelling all the different scents and they smelt amazing. I got these ones, which I'll talk about in a minute, but there was also one called Sicilian... Sicilian breeze or Sicilian something lemon Sicilian it was like lemon vanilla ambery kind of scent it smelled so good but this one was my favorite so this one is the pearl de coco and it's milky coconut cruising seas of warm vanilla and sweet caramel and it smells amazing so good so the body scrub let me just show you oh my goodness so good there you go it's got little bits of sparkling and we tried it on our hands in the shop and our hands were sparkling so I cannot wait to get this all over my body and just be sparkling and glowing all summer yeah I was really happy with that and it was 15 pound it's very similar to the boom boom you know the is it so Sol Janeiro, is that you pronounce it? The Boom Boom Cream and the Boom Boom Scrub. Very, very similar smell to that. In fact, almost identical. And I think this is cheaper than the Boom Boom one as well. So that's good. And then I also got the body lotion as well in the same scent. And this has like little bits of sparkle in as well. And it comes out like that. I'll just rub it in and see if it does show up any sparkle on the camera. I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera. No, you probably won't at all. But it does smell insane and I love anything sweet. And I've just I've just run out of my body lotion and my boom boom scrub, so I thought I needed to make those purchases. Now I'll show you what I got from the white company. I also got some body cream from the white company as well because it was in the sale. Vervine. Vervine is never in the sale, so I was like, I am getting some of that. Vervine body lotion, it's got verbena, orange and lemon in. One of my favorite white company scents ever. This and Seychelles are like my top two. Can't decide between the two. Maybe I like Seychelles a bit more, but Vervine is like nearly the top. And it was only 10 pound for the body lotion. So I got a full tub of that. And this smells amazing as well. I'll put this one on the other arm. <laughs> oh, it just, it just smells so good i can't i don't know how something could be that strong and smell so good if you don't like lemon you will hate it but if you like like the lemon citrus scents oh it smells so good love it so yeah i got that in the sale and then i also got this in the sale so this is the fresh grapefruit oil for my neon pod it was reduced to seven pound i think they're usually 10. Mm, it smells really nice it smells quite similar to the vervine actually some of you might remember that i found my love for fresh grapefruit from white company i found my love for that scent when i went to my friend's house she had the fresh grapefruit candle burning in her bathroom and it smelled so nice so now I've got a candle and I got this yesterday whilst it was in the sale so very happy with that and I feel like when I've got it in my neon pod it will just make the whole house smell really fresh and clean because it's kind of like a citrusy scent as well and then lastly from the white company a bit of a, a bit of a treat a bit of a splurge well not too much of a splurge but I definitely didn't need it that's for sure so here it is it's one of those gorgeous glass hurricanes with the like ribbed bubbled kind of almost scalloped edge absolutely beautiful and some of you might remember last time i went to the white company or a few times ago i got the smaller tea light one which is 15 pound for the smaller one no idea why i bought that for 15 pound but it, it is really nice but this one which is significantly bigger is 18 pounds so i was saying to my mum, i can't believe that the small tea light one is 15 pound and this huge one is 18 pounds so i thought that this one was a really good price for the white company and i can get a nice pillar candle in there or a nice neptune candle you can like have different candles in there depending on the season like burgundy ones around autumn time or you know different ones around christmas time and it's just like a nice classic white company staple that i really really wanted and now i'm glad that i've got it <laughs> they were my white company pieces and now i've just got one last shot to show you sastrian green you guys are not ready for what i'm about to show you honestly so good the best sastrian green 
shop that I've ever done. I've been in there a few times now and always come out with like really cute, like unique, cheap, affordable stuff. But today's haul, I I am shocked. I cannot I can't believe it, and I am so excited to show you guys everything that I picked up. So here's the bag and some of you might be able to guess what I picked up if you watch the little snippets from the shop. Firstly, scalloped napkins in neutral beige colour. I mean, are they not just the most perfect napkins that you've ever seen? How stunning are they? They weren't like mega cheap. Well, they weren't too bad. They were £3.54 each. So like three, six, nine, like, I don't know, close to 15 pound in total for four. They are beautiful. I will use them all the time. Love scallops, love neutrals, love this sort of like embroidered edge. I just thought they were gorgeous. And at first I didn't see them because all I saw were the green ones. And then I just looked under the green ones and I saw these neutral ones and I was like, oh my goodness, I need those. And I also picked up one green one. I didn't want to pick up like two sets of four. So because I thought I would use these more like with a tablescape because I like more neutral tablescapes, but I did pick up the green one for like styling you know kitchen styling draped over the side of a bowl you know like that sort of stuff for Instagram so yeah green and neutral I'm just in love like are they not just the prettiest napkins ever <gasps> run to slash green green guys these I can't even deal with them I actually can't but I also stocked up on some candlesticks these ones are 40p each which is unbelievably cheap and I just got some nice ivory ones. They had like pure white ones and then these ones were the next ones like ivory. So I went with the ivory because I didn't know if the white looked too white. I feel like these are more in keeping with my colour scheme. And 40p each, I mean, so cheap. Next I got this cute little like dish or I'm, I'm going to class it as like a tea light holder because I'm going to pop a little tea light in there and have it as like a little candle plate. But from a distance I thought it looked like quite terracotta vibes. Obviously it's just like, I don't even know, like plastic almost like matte ceramic kind of, I don't know, it's probably plastic, it's really, really cheap. It's £2.18 pence, and I'm just gonna get a little tea light holder in there. Oh, it's so cute, scallops again, obviously. I just thought that was adorable and have it styled on like a coffee table, TV stand, and because it's kind of like that burnt orange colour, it definitely gives off terracotta vibes, which I really like in my home as well. So yeah, can't go wrong for £2.18 pence either. Guys, I've actually just realised that everything from Sostry and Green, except the candles, is scalloped. I think the addiction is actually getting a bit out of hand and I get maybe like five to 10 messages on the daily of people saying, I saw this and thought of you, I saw this and thought of you. And it's like different scallop bits in like Next or Matalan or like anywhere. And I'm like, yeah, I just I just love scallops. Thank you for sending it to me. <laughs> the next one, Sastry and Green, are these two cute little scalloped beige bowls. And these were £3.29 each. And I was just gonna get the one, but I quite liked I quite like how little dipping bowls look stacked like this. Like I've got the Neptune ones, the Lulworth ones, which I really like stacked. And I just thought these would look really cute on like a shelf in my kitchen or, you know, anywhere in the kitchen, windowsill, on the side somewhere, anywhere. And they will match my kitchen really nicely as well. Love the warm beige color to those. And obviously the scalloped edge is just so cute. And then the last thing from Sastry and Green is a plant pot and I was like, round the corner filming something for the vlog and I could hear my mum laughing and then I could hear her going chess look at this you might have seen it in the vlog and she saw this and she knew that I would love it it's so pretty I love it they did like a bigger version as well but I like the smaller version Jake just stop playing his game to come and look at it <laughs> oh like past the parcel Ooh. what do you think very it is very me isn't it it's a scallop plant pot it's kind of like unglazed like I don't, I'm really bad with describing materials I don't know what material this is is it ceramic like unglazed ceramic but how cute is it you could even have it styled on its own or pop a little plant in you could even have it outside if you wanted to but I'm going to keep it inside I think and it was only five pound five pound sixty two for a good sized plant pot like that I just thought how cute and I, I needed it so that was everything from Sastry and Green. What do you guys think? I mean, it's just so me, isn't it, with all the scallop detail things. I'm just in love with everything. You'll have to let me know which bits were your favourite from White Company, from Sastry and Green, any of the clothing bits. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you were loving the most. So now, as always, I'm going to go and do a little bit of styling so you can see how I style my new pieces in my home and hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspo as well. 
So I've just popped the glass Hurricane from the White Company here and got a little Neptune candle inside. The Neptune candles, they're the six pound ones that you can get. And the Neptune bird here to the side and my little Sainsbury's coasters, which I love. And I just think that looks nice and simple there at the side of the TV on the right hand side and then I style up the other side as well. And then I've got it here next to my Cotswold Company table and big display of flowers from Tilly and Ted Homeware. But yeah, I really like how that looks. I think this is just so pretty. I'm going to pop these candles in here until I need them again. Excuse all Jake's games and Pokemon stuff down at the bottom. And this is a very cluttered cupboard, so I'm going to shut the door now. <laughs> and then I've just popped the little like, terracotta coloured tea light holder here on the windowsill. I'm not sure if I'll keep it here, but this is kind of the idea that I had. Let's pop a little tea light in like that. I think it would look really cute on a tablescape as well. Maybe it's too much with three things there. Let's have a little faff. Oh, I think that looks quite cute. Maybe with the, the milk jug. I don't know, you'll have to let me know. I do quite like how that looks, just there on the windowsill. I think it's a really cute little tea light holder. Quite different as well, like I've never seen anything like this before. So yeah, love that. So like I was saying on the video, I do usually like to have something there next to the salt and pepper shakers. I'm just not sure whether they, these two colours will clash a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure about that actually. I think I'm gonna pop the Neptune ones back because I feel like those colors match nicer. I've got the other one of these upstairs in the spare room. I need to bring it back down. Yeah, I think I like how that looks better. So I feel like these may be on the kitchen shelf up here. I need to have a rejig of this shelf. It's been like this for a long time. Let me have a little reshuffle. I might still have a little faff around with these, but I've just popped them there, the other side of the picture frame, as I feel like it ties in with those colours quite nicely. And then I've moved the Neptune pot off. I'll definitely find another use for the Neptune pot. And then I've got the little scallop pot from Slashstream Green in the middle, just there with the apple. And then I've just made this side a little less cluttered. I don't know, I might still have a little faff of it, but I do really like how that looks. And I do kind of like the cluttered shelf effect but I'm just conscious that I've got loads of different accessories up there. So I don't want it to be like overload, but I do like the kind of rustic, like cluttered effect, if that makes sense. Just not too much of it. That's the end of the video, everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching, coming shopping with us to Manchester and seeing my new fashion and home pieces. I'm honestly still shocked about the soft string green pieces, not gonna lie. Like always, if you did like this video, please give it a like down below, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already because there'll be lots more videos coming this summer as I'll be on my six week break, so I'll have time to make lots more videos. So do subscribe so that you don't miss any of them. Thanks guys, and I will see you next week with a brand new video and as a little sneak peek, there may be some autumn pieces in next week's video. Bye.